Hello friends, welcome to 2020. We are coming at you with a makeup video and it has been a while, I think like a month or two, but um, it's 2020, that means I can finally buy makeup. If you guys have been uh, following my journey, I didn't mention it much, but I did do a video where I mentioned I won't be buying makeup in 2019 and I didn't. I only allowed myself to buy a mascara because I think it's uh, only sanitary and right that you replace your mascara and mine was like six or eight months old. Anyway, I have some new makeup from Christmas that my lovely family and friends gifted me. I haven't bought anything yet. So I'm just gonna enjoy these products first before I make any new purchases and just gonna jump right into it. I kind of have my makeup uh, base started because I had work earlier. So I do have some concealer. I'm using the Glossier concealer under my eyes. I have a little bit of a MAC powder and my Anastasia brow uh, pomade and that's some oh chapstick that's it that's it okay we're just gonna jump into it because I'm so excited to get started on all this stuff first thing is this palette thank you Ashlyn and Lily for giving me this naked ugh, cherry palette oh camera look how beautiful this is wow this is like right up my alley with the pinks and reddish kind of peachiness shimmers. I only swatched some of these, but um, they were beautiful. I'm gonna do a pretty simple eye look just because this is a video to kind of get myself back into the groove of makeup. I think I've been talking too long. Let's just freaking get something on our eyes. I'm gonna use the brush that the palette came with because all my brushes are over there and I'm too lazy. This one's pretty. It's kind of translucent in the middle. Mm. Um, like I said, very simple. I'm gonna take the fluffy end and dip into Feels, which is like a muted, ugh, a muted color like right here. Ooh, wow. Wow. Oh my God, so pigmented. Wow, how is everyone's new year so far? I know it's only three days in, but um, is it going well? Was the end of 2019 doing well for y'all? I had a very packed end of 2019. Um, I went to, right after Christmas, we went to Vegas and then LA, and I finally have been home since New Year's Day and been just kind of getting my life together, you know what I mean? And I realized I haven't made a video in so long, so I'm like, oh, let's do this. Wow. I love doing just like one lid because it's easy, simple, ready to go. Um, probably gonna go right into the other end, which is a shorter, what is this? A dense, kind of almost like a pencil brush. Let me go old school YouTube on you. Oh, look at that. <laughs> And I'm gonna dip into the very last color, um, the darkest one here at the end called Privacy. I don't know what I'm doing yet. Just kinda, I think I'm just gonna kinda smudge it close to the lash line. Um, not so much try to create like a liner, but just more depth. And with dark shadows, I always um, work kinda slowly so that you're not picking up a ton of color and then just have fallout and powder everywhere. My skin has been doing pretty well, so I've been enjoying just, you know, no foundation um, and simple concealer and just a bit of powder. I am shiny, but I love being able to see my skin underneath the makeup. Makes me feel good about the skincare that I'm doing. Let's bring that down here. I think we're gonna call it done with the eyes because I'm not done. I'm gonna move on to the next thing. It is a set of four eyeshadow, like loose pigments from Tarte. Thank you, Liz, for these pigments. They're very bright. Ugh, I swatched all these already and I'm just gonna use the lightest one because it's the most frosty one as um, an inner corner highlight. And this one is called Wild at Heart. And it kind of has like a it looks pink, but then when you apply it, it has like kind of a minty green frost. <gasps> yeah, like in the camera, it looks like totally minty green, but 
but um, if you see the powder inside the lid, it's kind of pink. I'm just gonna take that Urban Decay brush that we used earlier <laughs> and put it on the inner corners. Oh my goodness, wow. Really elevates the look, huh? Next, we're gonna move into two things that I'm very, very, very excited for. This is actually a brand that I've been wanting to try, but it's kind of hard to get your hands on here in the US. It is Sunny Space, and um, my boyfriend's mama, she was in the Philippines, and she didn't, act she didn't actually know that I wanted to try this. She actually bought these for herself, but then when she came back, I was like, have you heard of Sunny Space? And she's like, yeah, I have some products, and she was kind enough to share them with me. Oh my gosh, I got a cheek and a lippy. This cheek is called an air blush cheek tint and it is in the color Biscuit. So I swatched it already. It's like a very light, um, almost caramelly brown color. I think it's gonna look really cute on the cheeks. And it is a cream formula. This is a lippy, a matte one. It looks kind of really dark in the tube. It's not that dark when I swatched it. We'll see how it transfers onto the lips. But um, it feels, um like a soft matte kind of powdery almost um so yeah let's put these on i haven't i've only swatched them on my hand i haven't put them on my face yet so let's start with the cheeks i'm also a little um sick sorry guys if i sound a little different anyways um i have no cheek products on right now but let's go <gasps> I know with cream products, you're supposed to like pat it on for the best result, like with the Glossier or the um, ColourPop Super Shock blushes, but I'm too lazy. I kind of like put them on and then I kind of like lightly swirl them. Swirl it in, not as much, not as much pressure as if you were like applying a moisturizer, but just using your fingers to like guide the product around. Cause ain't nobody got time to be sitting here and patting this product on. <laughs> Takes too long. Oh my god, look at that, how beautiful. I, this color kind of reminds me of the Glossier, um, what's that called? Cloud Paint that I have in the color Dusk. I'll confirm that name here. But um, it reminds me of that color, except just a little bit more pigmented and easier to put on because I love the color, but I hate working with the Glossier Cloud Paint. It's too like liquidy and wet for me. I like this more sturdy cream formula <gasps> great color we're gonna skip i usually do lips last if you guys watch my videos but we're gonna skip right to the lips right now this color is 143 oh it's called fluff matte how cute mm. even though it's like a fluff matte as i call it it's not drying and like it glides on really nicely oh whoa 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 and the last makeup item I wanted to show you guys is a Fenty highlight. My sister got this for me. Thanks, Lynn. This is the Kilowatt in Mean Money and Hustla Baby. So, Hustla Baby is the one that is shimmery. This pinkier one is Mean Money. Um, let's put the shimmery one all over the cheeks. Oh my god. Wow. <gasps> oh, I love a good nose highlight. Beautiful. Oh my god. I love this. Look at this cheek high. Oh, wow. I won't be needing to buy makeup anytime soon. I'm just going to finish up real quick with my lashes. I'm going to throw on some mascara. Um, definitely is time for me to buy a new mascara because. I bought this uh, in June of last year and that was the only thing I bought. <laughs> so I definitely need to replenish it for 2020. You know, do myself a favor. Don't get an eye infection from keeping old mascara. The sun will come out tomorrow or maybe right now cause I need the light. The sun's been going in and out of the clouds. I'm sorry if the lighting's been changing. What a difference. And we are finished friends. 
thank you so much for hanging out with me today i know this video was kind of all over the place and i don't even know if i had anything to teach you guys or tell you really except welcome to 2020 and i hope you guys enjoyed this at the end of last year i honestly thought january 1st i'll be on my computer buying makeup and i went to ColourPop, had some things added to my cart but you know i realized i really didn't need it and it felt kind of good it felt like i was practicing 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 restraint as i was doing all of 2019 so let's see how long i can do this for i have plenty of new things to play with as you can see and um i've really been liking the more natural just simple makeup you know this is more me i feel very in my own very good in my own skin like this so uh yeah I hope my makeup videos and looks don't look too repetitive. They're a little different to me. I hope you guys can see that as well. But if you would like to continue on this journey with me, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.